Johnny Pink, I am, the sun is behind me. There we go, check that out, man. This is how overgrown this trail is. Haven't been out here in a really long time. This is the trail that takes you down to the river. Normally it's wide open. Everything is so grown up. I'm glad the path is here. All right, I'm heading that way. That's what you call <laughs> overgrown. I seem to pick these interesting places to stand. I'm out for macro today without a flash, but I have my flash with me too, so let's go this way. All right, so what I'm using today, I'm using my Canon 100. It's the EF version of this. I really like this lens. Uh, it's adapted to the R5, so it's not true macro, but that's okay. I can crop in so far and still have all that detail. I think I'm shooting at... Uh, an F9, ISO of 200. My flash speed right now is a negative 2.7, but all that could change. I'm trying to use the sun as much as possible, so if I have any specular highlights from that, well, it's from the sun. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about that short of holding up a cover this way. And I've watched some amazing people that hold the leaf and they're really able to do it so perfectly. That's not me. I shake too much. But what I'm looking for is damselflies. So let's let's shoot over here. The damselflies that are in there are abundant. You have to watch your, your shadows because it scares them. So you want to try and come around them and catch them when they're just sitting there. They see you, but anyway, damselflies are different than the dragonflies. Dragonflies' wings are out to the side like this, whereas damselflies are actually a different species and their wings come back. Dragonflies, I'm watching a bird land over there. Dragonflies have the ability to move all four of their wings independently with actual muscles instead of their thorax as do other insects when they fly. They're pretty amazing hunters. All right, going back this way. Now when I'm shooting, I'm actually using Canon's amazing autofocus, single point, the, the little tiny, the tiniest, tiniest ones, because I use a bunch of them all over the place depending on what I'm shooting, but I am using autofocus. It works for me extremely well. I take a series of shots. Sometimes I'll start with it farther back because then I have a deeper depth of field because I'm a little bit farther back. At least I know I got a shot. And then I step in 
and then I step in again, and then I step in as close as I can possibly get, trying to get a lot more detail. But if it flies away before I get there, or if my diffuser pushes one of the branches, I'm not worried about not getting that shot. Would I like a closer focal distance or, you know, to be able to get closer to it? Absolutely, right up on top of it. But standing back works too. I also have my 70 to 200 and I'll probably switch over to that in just a minute and shoot some of these just for the fun comparison. But for right now, 100 millimeter. Oh, and the thing I like about this one better than the RF version is the rented version that I had, I was getting focus shift. So what I thought was in focus was not. It was just slightly off. This one seems to be so spot on and other people have different comments and opinions. Will I buy one? Probably, just not right now. Blue dams will fly down there. And you may be wondering why I'm using my Canon R5, because I love this camera. I think it is an absolutely phenomenal camera. It's got a creamy look about it that the R7 just doesn't. Yes, with the R7, I'd have more reach to get in there, and I do have that in my bag over here. It's a new bag, in fact. <laughs> There's a video up over here of that bag. It's, I, I love it, because you can put it down, and you're not putting it in dirt when you open it up. It's, anyway. So I'm using the R5 because I think it is actually an amazing, astonishing camera. Looking forward to the R1 eventually, but for right now the R5 just suits all of my needs, ticks off all those little boxes. And this is, again, Canon's EF 100mm macro lens. It's what I have and I love it. Johnny Pink, man, thank you, thank you for letting me share with you guys. You have a fantastic day, whatever it is you're going to, whatever it is you're going to do. There's a fly crawling across the lens down at the bottom there so whatever if you have any questions you know leave them down below I do answer it takes me a while sometimes if you saw something crawling across the the screen there there's a bug on my ND filter <laughs> have a fantastic day we'll see you guys Johnny Pink yeah I can fade out but I'm not going to I'm just gonna fade the whole image we'll see you guys